give me that countryside. New York is where I'd rather stay. I got allergic smelling hay. I just adore a penthouse view. Darling, I love you, but give me Park Avenue. The chores. The stores. Fresh air. Uh, I'm also Crouch, I work with the Mounted Police Department. Yes. I was sent up here because of the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I understand that uh, one of our officers talked to your son yesterday, uh -huh. telling him that you can't have it, yeah. um, and, and it's still here. Right. So I've been instructed, since it's still here, the chickens are there, I do have to issue a, mister, a minor misdemeanor citation. Okay. Uh, on 50513? That's correct. Okay. The chickens are not on my premises. Oh, my flag. The law reads that you cannot maintain or you cannot have chickens on premises of less than five acres. Less than two acres for the or, chickens. I mean, yeah, less than two acres. That's correct. All right. This is city property. Okay, but it's, it's your property that you have to maintain. Right, but by any stretch of the imagination, it's not my premises. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to issue the citation. Fine. It's a minor misdemeanor. It's, it's waivable. If you want to talk to the judge... Well, Martin, it says you got all those horses, goats, cows, chickens, sheep, mules, ducks, cows, turkeys, and similar farm animals on some property less than uh, less than two acres. I guess it says that's a man of misdemeanor, $150 maximum fine for all that activity, Martin. Do you understand your charge? Uh, actually, no, Your Honor, I do not. Okay. Well, I have, I do have six chickens. Uh, six chickens. But they are not on my property. They're on the tree lawn, which is city property. Well. And I was charged. Actually, that's just an easement, I think. Most of the time you own the tree lawn, but it's a roadway easement, unless you just go to the edge of the sidewalk. Edge of, edge of the sidewalk. Yeah? Mm -hmm. well, that'll be a new one on me, because usually you own all the way out there. They just have a roadway easement. Sometimes they own it, but maybe you're different. Okay, so, well, if you don't understand it, I suggest you plead not guilty and go back guilty. and see somebody. You just like spending time with me. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What do you want to do? Well, uh, you're seriously not going to prosecute me. I am, because you're not allowed to have your chickens. What's the ordinance? How's the ordinance read? I don't know. You've got it. The ordinance reads, you cannot keep farm animals on premises of less than two acres. Correct? Mm -hmm. The chickens are on the city property, which is not my premises. Right, exactly. It is the right of way. But I have exclusive use of the right of way because the city makes me maintain it.
This is a minor misdemeanor under Section 50513B. Closing arguments. Uh, yes, Mr. Anderson. Since the city through ordinance and for, makes me maintain the tree lawn, uh, I believe that there is an exclusive use to where I can use a tree lawn as I deem whatever you, whatever you want. You believe you could use that tree lawn for whatever you want, provided it is within the ordinances. Like I cannot build a chicken coop on the tree lawn. Okay. This chicken coop has wheels and is movable. So you're playing a game with the with the the, 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 the schemes of this, the words with this. So you feel that because it's uh, removable, you're allowed to put it down there? Uh, well, uh, by Benner's own definition of right away, it says public use. Well, I'm part of the public, and I guess I can use it. Now, the... Uh, you know, so if you wanted to put a statue 50 feet high on that, on that tree lawn, you think that it would be okay? Uh, if you wanted to do it because you're part of the public and it's for your public use and you like that, you like that 50 foot t tall statue. No, Your Honor, because that would be a permanent structure. Yeah, but you have it on wheels. You're pretty smart. You put it on wheels. So you think it's okay? Do uh, you think your neighbors would enjoy that? Do you think the community would enjoy that? There are... Yeah. What's something that bugs you? What's something that bugs you? Give me, tell me something that, that you really wouldn't want to see a picture of or that. What would bother you? What really bothers me yeah. is the unconstitutionality of the OMCO bottom line. I'm going ask you that question. I asked you, what bothers you? For a picture or something that bothers you, what would bother you? Wasting food. Okay. Now, how would you like if your next door neighbor on his tree lawn piled up a whole stuff of food that they're not eating and they just let it there and they keep it there? Would you like that? They do it every week, Your Honor. Well, that's garbage, but that's in a, that's in a container and that. But I mean, if they put it out, just uh, raw pieces of meat and that kind of stuff. Now, would you would you enjoy that? Would you want that on the tree log? Your Honor, would you call up? Would you complain to the building department when it started to stink? Would you call them up and say, "Geez, my neighbor's got this stuff on the on the tree log and it stinks. Could you get it out of here?" Would that bother you? There is an ordinance against debris on the tree log. Yeah, there is an ordinance about having uh, the stuff that you want to do too. If there is, I. Haven't seen it or follow it or understand it. <laughs> 50513, you're not following it. The only way that I can define what a premises is is through the city's definition. And through their definitions of premises and right away, the tree log is not on my premises. Now, granted, it may be construed as a loophole, it may, it may be construed as, as a weak ordinance, but in all reality, the chicken coop is not on my premises, and therefore, I, I just can't see, and, and it's further than 75 feet from the neighbor's house. Granted, I would like to have the chickens on my own property. I very much so would like to have the chickens on my own property, but I am prohibited by ordinance from doing so. We had this conversation before. So I'm not going to go. Five years ago, not yeah. else, Your Honor. Yeah. All right. Anything else, sir? Uh, no, Your Honor. Based on the evidence presented, the court's going to make a finding of guilty. Um, we're going to show that the uh, defendant uh, will have uh, three months probation. Defendant to remove uh, structure. within 24 hours. Um, this is not a jailable offense. The, the most of it happens $150 fine and cost and up to 30 hours of community service. I'm going to sentence you um, 
to uh, 24 hours of volunteer work to give back to the community. Can I think that the order go one step further that if he does not remove it within 24 hours that the city be permitted to remove it should they choose to? Objection, Your Honor. That would be considered theft, which is a direct violation of the specified offense of 901 Well, it seems as though you're putting it on, you're saying it's their property. I think they can remove it from their property. I'm using your own argument now. Right. So if the structure is not removed within 24 hours, uh, the city may do so. You'll go down, you'll talk to probation now, sir. Uh, they'll tell you what the, uh, they'll go through in more detail as to what you need to do. Please follow through on uh, what the city asked you to do, and I wish you the best. Um, I think it, it will be a good idea to uh, do community service to get back to the community. All right, thank you. Thank you. See what happens. What happens here? At the service entrance. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. I'm here uh, to do some community service. Okay. dressed for what we do here. What's that? Uh, at Farm Park? Yeah. We do uh, uh, a lot of physical stuff. Cleaning stalls. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I got work boots. Okay. Okay. Uh, you need to come down here. Pretty busy. I got uh, service. What are you guys doing today? Okay. I'm documenting this if you don't mind. I, I don't know what you can do. I mean, it's, it's not a radio, it's not a cell phone, it's not a pager. The reason I'm here, <coughs> I had raised 
a few chickens on the tree lawn. Yes. Uh, and the Metro City Ordinance states that you cannot keep farm animals on premises of less than two acres. Okay. The tree lawn is city property. Yes. I got lambasted in court by the judge during my closing argument, so he wouldn't give me any. He wouldn't allow me to speak. Okay. So uh, I'm here to do my community service. Take two. This is us. I memorized my lines and I forgot what they were now. Gentlemen, where would we, where would we be today if it wasn't for the brave and courageous men, our founding forefathers, who gave life and farm to ensure that we had liberty, freedom, and the right to a fair trial? I'll tell you where we would be. We'd be driving on the wrong side of the street and all the judges would be wearing white wigs in court. Now I ask you. How's a chicken supposed to know which way to look before she crosses the street? Our founding fathers fought the tyranny of King England. I'm fighting the tyranny city of Menor. I give the next four hours of my life to give back to the community for raising a few chickens. Ah. But see, they don't have to cut that grass. Oh, well, I'm walking over to where I gotta go. It's uphill. Getting kind of warm, too. But I'll get there soon. It's not that far. I'm used to walking. Oh, let's see here. Oh. Field crop, visitor center, plant science center. There we go. Beehives. Oh, there they are. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, I am. Valerie, nice to meet you. Okay. Um, what's up with the you to do today? Can I work the bees? What was that? Can I work the bees? Uh, I'm going to be going up there in a little bit, not right now. <laughs> I have, I'm, I'm actually going up to feed them. I have, uh, I mean, what's this?
on TV land, it's Green Acres, the classic rural sitcom with a little something for everyone. Whether you're a connoisseur of self-reflexive humor or just... <laughs> This has been a Chickens on the Tree Long production, darling. <laughs>